Okay. You're, you're ready to go. You're oh, ready to start. good. So you get to <laughs> you get to do the stuff. Oh, okay. Welcome to Stuff Lab. I'm Marty. I'm Gwen. And today is going to be a really good facts video. I know that because it's about me. Yay! Because it's his birthday. It's my birthday. I'm old. And he has no idea how to do any of this. Nope. So I just gave him a 30 second rundown. All aboard the struggle bus on a piece of equipment more expensive than, well, most of the cars I own. So, yes. yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so, Homeland. Where where's, are you born? where's Marty from? Uh, Marty. This is a trick. Yeah, is see, gonna... now I get to see how much of you don't know about me. <laughs> yeah, this is a trick. So. I know you lived in Shakopee, and I know you lived in Bloomington. Where was I born? I don't know. Anoka? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't eat cake. I'm not from Anoka. You eat more cake than anyone I've ever met. Not like that. I don't oh. eat the the bougie cake, the, oh. the the gold leaf cake. I did buy gold leaf though, so I'm very excited. I have no idea. Okay, I was born in Bloomington, Minnesota. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, like, I don't know, somewhere. I don't know. I don't really know much about the world except for like this part. So. Um, well, where you're talking about is inside that part. Yeah, oh so no, it's way higher than that. Are we really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, top button is undo. Top, top. There you go. Oh, it, undo okay. it undoes your last action. Oh, I see. Hold on. Here's this like. Yeah. It's like here. No, that's like where we live. Oh my god. Hang on. <laughs> We're there. Nope, the same no. place. No, just I go a little bit south of of the nose. We're there. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, born and raised all within that dot there. Okay. Or circle. Are you, all your that blue spaghettio? Yeah, yeah. Your fish head? Yep. It looks like a fish head. Yep. Ah, oh, so nice. Very good. Marty has the best doodles. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> I'm awful at drawing, so there you go. All right, so Homeland complete. Homeland complete. Um, Unless there's more you'd like to talk about it. I mean, like, okay, so my homeland is is there. Uh, that's where I'm from. Uh, we can go do things I've visited, um, or okay. we, we'll do that under we'll do that under historical contribution of all the places that got to see me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, hey, it's me in Vegas. It is. Uh, description: I'm a large bearded man uh, who likes food. A lot. And Superman. And Superman. Uh, yep, six feet tall. Uh, shortest one in my family. Uh, you can figure that out later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, oh, I did like perfect, there we go. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's see here. I've never really had to like, I, I don't know, I've never described myself other than job interviews and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, very task oriented. Uh, there's that little arrow thing that was used for task oriented. I see on on stuff. Uh, very task oriented. Um, Star Trek? You're very Star Trek? No, no, that's like the I don't know. You, you ever done? You ever sat in on meetings where like, oh, task orientation, blah blah blah, and they always have this this green arrow. That's like, you know, no, no, just nah. just just my work then. I guess uh, that must just be an AutoZone thing. I've been there forever though. So yeah. this is probably old now. Um, here, well, you always ask me description stuff. Uh -huh. How would you describe a Marty? A tall bearded man <laughs> who just doesn't like anything. Everything, I like makes, a everything makes him angry except for cake. I like a lot of things. There's just specific things. <laughs> There's just <laughs> hyper specific things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. So Marty likes... Uh, Hotel windows. Hold on. No, I was oh. gonna try to do a plate. But I don't know how to do a plate. And just, uh, I don't know how to do plate or hands, so... Just draw cake. Nothing has that. That's what I was going to do. I was going to cake on plate, but... You yeah. don't need a plate to eat cake. I don't usually use them anyways. So, uh, yep. So, cake. Uh, yep. There's some layers on stuff. And there's like... There's, the, fro the frosting bubbles? frosting bubbles on it. Yep. So what is... What is the ideal Marty cake? Oh, uh, marble funfetti. Marble funfetti. Yeah. All right. Yeah, like not, funfetti in the cake yeah. or funfetti like on top of the cake? Yeah, do you not remember that I made that very specific request for a wedding? 
I know this. They oh. do not know this. Oh yeah. You're so, talking to them, not yeah. me. So uh, for our wedding. Um, just in general, you like this cake. Well, yeah, just in general. But for for a wedding, uh, when when we got married, I did have her. She signed a napkin, uh, and I saved it to make sure that I didn't get in trouble for it. Uh, I did tell the woman making our cake uh, that um, one layer. Didn't care which one. I didn't care which one. I'm not picky like that. But uh, one layer had to be marble funfetti, or the whole deal was off. Um, and I got my marble funfetti cake. Did you? Yeah. Hmm. I don't yeah. remember marble layers. She did half the half the cupcakes in them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Which that uh, was really good cake. It was super good cake. Um, anyway, there's not a picture of the cake, is there? No. I just I actually saved that on my phone of under like my food file. I just well, like to if, look at how. Good if the you cake send is. it to me, I can certainly put oh, it on the screen. Insert delicious cake here. <laughs> well, you'd have to remember to send oh. me it. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, He's not good at remembering to send things. <laughs> yeah. That's part nope. of his description. Okay. Yep. So <laughs> bad for, at remembering. So f- very forgetful. Yep. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> okay, um, no, oh, that's a pretty good description. So, uh, okay, this, and then this? Yep, do your two buttons. Okay, uh, uh, and then, just, nope, yep. and then, uh, and then you turn off the top, yep. There we go, yeah! Life. Okay, so this is one of my favorite pictures. Uh, when I was a, uh, uh, young boy, um, I took the exact same picture at the Hoover Dam the first time when I was there, and then we went a few years ago, three, four years ago, something like that, uh, and I retook the exact same picture, and it proved that I'm still just a, just a boy, uh, just a larger, more beardy boy who's still a gigantic nerd. Uh, so, I was born uh, May 3rd, 88. Yep, and I'm now 33, because I'm that old. Oofta. Oofta indeed. Oofta. <laughs> um, all right, so when, when Marty was a young boy, uh, he well, had two different crew When cats. he was a young mortal. <laughs> when he, oh, God. <laughs> Uh, there are two different career paths that I wanted. Uh, one, I really wanted to be, this is gonna be a terrible depiction of one, but I wanted to be... A triceratops. A oh. police officer. Oh. Uh, I really wanted to be a cop when I was, when I was a kid. Uh, just didn't pan out. So, um, I also, on the exact opposite side of things, I, I also wanted, wanted to, to be a bank robber. Uh, that, was probably, that was probably on the list somewhere. Uh, do you remember what I wanted to be? The thing that showed up every single year on every single one of the, like, what do you, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Do you remember what that was? What? Oh, Emperor of the World? Yep. Literally, Emperor of the World is what was written on, like, his kindergarten, yeah. what I want to be when I grow up thing. And it just continued yeah. since then. I still say the world would be a better place if I did, in fact, rule it. We can agree to disagree. Uh, also, I'm running for mayor this year, so be ready for that. Baby steps to world emperoring. <laughs> <laughs> If you say so. Um, let's see here. What else? What what um, interesting what interesting things have you done in your life? Oh gosh. Um, I'm an Eagle Scout. Um, yep, did that whole thing. That was fun. Uh, when it was the Boy Scouts, I did that. Boy um, Scouts. Or Scouts. Uh, nope, it's Boy Scouts. Nope. I'm an eagle. Oh, I was with Troop 218. There you go. Which is really funny because now I live in what everyone just calls the 218. <laughs> yep. So, um, yep, there's, can I write on the fuzzy stuff over here too? Okay. Yeah, you can write. Oh! On, you can write. <laughs> I've been trying to not you, write. you can write on this if you want to. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. You I can write on the entire thing. It's just these are blocked yeah. out so you know where stuff goes later. Oh. Yeah, you can write all over the place. All right. Okay, so, uh, yep, I'm an Eagle Scout. Um, I started working uh, when I was, gosh, uh, 13, 14. 
Um, it was more like volunteer work-ish for choir. I'm also a choir boy. Um, uh, so much so that I was in the European tour choir. Uh, so I got to go overseas and got to sing in uh, Germany, uh, Austria, and the Czech Republic. Um, I'm not super religious, but I have to say that the churches over there were amazing. Um, I can't, oh gosh, I can't remember the, the name of it, but the, um, it's somewhere, I'll have to put, I'll have to insert it in somewhere. Um, but yeah, the, the churches were awesome. We'll put an info bar I down. think so, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe with a picture, because everyone just needs to see how just amazing this church is. Dope. Um, yeah, so, uh, I started working when I was like 13, 14 at the Renaissance Festival. Um, met lots of friends there. Um, if nobody knows, the Minnesota Renaissance Festival is the oh, second the, largest? It's the largest in size, second largest profit. So it's um, a big deal. It's massive. Um, most kids in the cities end up working there, but if parents were smart, they wouldn't let their kids work there because, it, yep. I've told my mom the stories now that I'm over 21. So, <laughs> um, so anyways, so super fun time there. Started working when I was 13. Um, then I worked a bunch of odd jobs. I've worked a ton of jobs. Um, I just hate being idle. So I just kind of ended up going around a bunch of different places. And now I have been with AutoZone for 11 years. So. Yay. So, <laughs> um, anything else interesting that you'd like to know or the people might find interesting? I don't think anything I do is super interesting, but I know that like to other people, like I've lived a pretty wild life here and there. Um, well, you have that um, uh, rifleman. Oh, yep. That, um, that seems very important to you. Yes. Um, so recent years, uh, my buddy Tim, uh, hi Tim. I know you watch these, so. Um, Tim, I have the, I brought that baby head home. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Still, <laughs> yep. Uh, so my buddy Tim. Um, so Project Appleseed um, is a rifleman course. Wow, I don't know where I was going there. Project. Yeah, that seems like a project. You ever spell something and look at it and be like... The entire time we do does, these videos is look, what's happening. That doesn't look right at all. This is why I abbreviate um, a lot. <laughs> okay, so Project Appleseed is a uh, rifleman's training course. Um, it is aimed on teaching uh, heritage, marksmanship, um, and history. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of the shirts I wear on this channel are Project Appleseed shirts. Um, I'm a instructor now, uh, which was which was hard to get, um, but worth it. So, um, yeah, that was really fun. Uh, everybody, after this video, uh, after this video finishes, go check out uh, projectappleseed.org uh, and sign up for an event because it's really good. Lots of good information there. Um, it's not just about learning how to shoot. It's uh, it's a really good weekend uh, with like-minded people and you get to learn a bunch of really fun stuff actually. So yeah, Gwen's gonna go someday. Someday. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe when ammo's cheaper. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> all right. Um, that's really all I can think of as far as like really interesting stuff I've done. Okay. Yeah. If uh, that's all you got for that. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, See, I put a little thought into where I put these nice. pictures. Uh, historical contribution. Uh, just look at this picture for 30 seconds, please. This is what he would like to contribute. Yeah, but it wouldn't be the White House. You don't want the White House? I thought you wanted to be Mr. President. No, Emperor is different than President. I'd knock down the White House. Well, I mean, you should probably be President first and then go for Emperor. I'll figure it out as I go. Okay. I'm really good at winging it. Okay. Yep. Okay, now that everyone's admired this picture. Um, so what would I put in for historical contribution? Like, 
Have you done anything that is recorded somewhere as being really awesome? Like, did you win any state tournaments? Did you place in a state tournament? No. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Ah, historical contribution. I'll put a baby in her. Uh, I think that'd be more legacy. I'll say it twice. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't know. I can't really think of anything else I've ever done that's like historic other than... I don't know. I have a lot of friends, um, and I I like to think I'm a very supportive friend. So, uh, you're welcome, everybody. I don't think that's a historic contribution, but that's all right. All those people probably think so. Okay. Also, I throw mad parties. So, yep. Yeah, they're just so so angry. Yeah. They're, just, mm. they're really good. Mm. Really good, fun parties. Uh, yeah. But not during the Rona, because that's bad. Don't do that. All right. Uh, let's see here. Huh? Huh? Death? Uh, about 11 years ago, inside. Oh, hey. Same shirt. Nice. <laughs> uh, nope, still alive. That's not a very flattering picture of you seeing it. Uh, it's not. <laughs> large. It's not. It's really bright outside and I was very squinty. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Marty doesn't appreciate when I take photos of him when we do things. Mm -hmm. He goes, enjoy the moment, stop taking pictures of me. Yeah. But then later he goes, well, you have all these pictures of you doing this stuff that we went to go do. Why are there no pictures of me? Sneaky pictures. Yep. But preferably just enjoy the moment because time is fleeting. Okay. So still alive? Still alive. Okay. <laughs> this is That's Cameron really Diaz at the That's Wax right. Museum in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe she's actually that short. <laughs> or maybe you're just a giant. I'm not a giant. I'm only six feet tall with no earlobes. Look at that. It's <laughs> for, uh, for aerodynamics. Ah, I see. I yeah. don't know if you have any controversy. Um... Well, you just in general are controversy. I was gonna say, I'm really good at causing controversy. Um, I'm going to hopefully cause controversy at the end of this year when I become mayor of this town. People are gonna be mad about it, but uh, not so much as far as actual controversy. So, uh, that I know of, I guess. That's the biggest thing. Um, I don't know, if anyone has controversy, post it below. Or don't, actually, don't post it below. Post it on my channel, Liberty Land, we'll be dropping sometime in the future. <laughs> I So I realized that like, I wear baby three shirts in rotation. <laughs> Cause that's- He owns 900 t-shirts. He wears four of them. That shirt, that well that hat, that hat finally died. I threw that hat away. It got real bad, it was beyond saving. Yeah. So, yep, it is. It's gone now. Um, <laughs> what a sad face. Yeah, it's a really <laughs> sad hat. Because uh, it's in the garbage somewhere. Or I burned it. I can't remember. I don't know. I think I, I burned it. It was really it was Legacy. Really Legacy. Put a baby in her. Um, and um, Doge to the moon. Yep. All right. That's really all I got for Legacy. It's a funny picture though. I like that one. Hey. <laughs> um. This is a funny picture. <laughs> yep. That happened. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, who? Do you want to know how this happened? Uh, I came up and said, "Marty, put this in your beard," and he went, "Okay." And I took a picture of him. I definitely wore it better. I don't know, you have like the lazy eye happening over there. Yeah, I don't know what was up with that. I don't know. Probably bright or something. Maybe. Always bright, I'm so squinty when it's bright out. Um, yeah, yeah, so just uh, tell us fun things. Fun facts, uh, oh gosh. Um, I gotta remember, I, it's still a kid-friendly channel. Um, this is just supposed to be like a everyone-friendly channel, maybe, oh, okay. where people can just show up and be like, Oh, okay. 
<sighs> I don't want stress. <laughs> um, I want a I once ate a three pound cheeseburger in a minute fifty four seconds. Here, while you tell stories, I will doodle. Yeah. How does that sound? Good, because I, I'm not. I can doodle a little bit, but I know. I, you, you're you're, you you're are, very good at doodling. <laughs> you're not used to doing it. No. Uh, so I once ate a three pound cheeseburger in a minute fifty four, and there is video evidence. Uh, I will not post it because um, no one wants to see that. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Uh, my friend Zach and I, Zach, uh, you guys know Zach from Snack to Zach. Uh, we are starting our own YouTube channel. Uh, it's, it is called Liberty Land. Uh, it is very libertarian minded. Uh, and we'll be doing a lot of, a lot of drinking. Mm, Freedom Seed dispensers. Um, let's see here. Mm, the product reviews, a lot of just like overtly American and manly stuff uh, that we can't always show on this channel. So Zach and I'll be doing it over there. It's things that Stuff Lab goes, I don't want my friends to see you do that. Go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he's, he and Zach are making Liberty Land. Yep. And uh, occasionally they have guests on there. Mm -hmm. Gwen will be on it once in a while. I think you've been in a few episodes now. Maybe. Yeah. We filmed episodes. We haven't launched it yet. Yes, yeah, so she, not she's, officially she's going to be in a few episodes <laughs> that she's already been on. Um, let's see. Here. They are very fun. I will say that. It's Heck just yeah. not my. It's not my cup of tea to share with people. But it certainly is Marty's. We we open every episode drinking beer. So what's better than that? Um, oh, if you like the end of the Man Show, you'll also like this channel. But you'll get to find out what I mean later. Um, let's see here. I love dogs. I love cats. I'm an animal person. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell from from doing these things. Um, I'm I'm very much more of an animal person than I'm a people person. Um, yeah. Um, Zach's working on me with uh, with lizards and stuff. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like those a lot, but. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Reptar. Um, hmm. No. Oh, cars, guns, uh, freedom, America. Um, boobs. Yep. <laughs> Booze. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I meant. Yep. <laughs> Ghosties. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, gosh, other fun facts. Um, What's your favorite food? Oh, oh gosh. Uh, that's actually probably a toss-up. I guess that'd be my controversy. Be internal controversy. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, oh man. Um, pizza or cake? Oh man. I really can't decide. Um, I mean, you can put them both together Viewers. and make lasagna. There's your controversy for the day. <laughs> New thing for the viewers. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, vote, which do you like better, pizza or cake? Uh, but now I would like to also add, is a pizza cake lasagna? Because I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, that's, it has all the main components. That um, is, uh, definitely. <laughs> definitely that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's there's your controversy. I didn't Very have good. much, but now we do. Um, I don't know. Um... Cars over bikes, trucks over cars. What? I don't know, as far as just things I like, fun facts. Well, cars Car over bikes? Cars over bikes. Like bicycles? No, no, like no, no one likes bicycles, motorcycles. Uh, cars over motorcycles and uh, trucks over cars. Trucks are best. Um, I need to buy another one, because I really miss it. I miss hauling stuff. Yep. 
At the very bottom of that list, can you put a big arrow and put bikes, like actual bikes? If you're one of those people who rides around on a bicycle when there's, you know, sidewalks or a bike lane, but you think that you're as fast as a car, I have news for you. You're not as fast as a car. Get out of the way. Sincerely, every single person who owns a car. Okay. Um, yeah, that's really all I got. Uh, what are your favorite things to do? Oh, cars, and guns, boobs. Oh, you put beer, beer in there. Uh, beer somewhere. Oh. Yep. Um, hanging out with the with the boys. Who are the Who are the boys? Oh. Who are your boys? My boys. Uh, Zach and Tim and Joey and Brian and Andy and John and Nate. Uh, <laughs> Dustin. Uh, Pat. You guys meet Pat on Liberty Land, too. Zach, Tim, Dustin, Brian. <laughs> I miss somebody. Hey, Joey. And Andy. And Nate. And... Oh my gosh, I listed everybody off, but now I can't remember. Uh, Zach, Tim, uh, John. Uh, John's my brother. You've met John before. Um... Yeah, that's it. Um, hmm. Oh, Steve. I haven't seen Steve in a while. Steve, him and I still chit chat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then the uh, and then the Dark Ravens. Um, all of you. Um, <laughs> Good job. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's... I'm, if I'm forgetting you, I'm sorry, guys. There, I know there's a lot of you. One thing off of your bucket list. Oh, God. Steal Bugatti Veyron. <laughs> um, yep. I mean, I'll never, I'll never be able to afford one, like, ever. $1.7 million for a base model of the old version of it, so. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Ooh! At some point, own a Gatling gun. I want a Gatling gun. Meet Gordon Ramsay. Oh! Oh! I can't believe... I was gonna forget this. Hold on. I need to get a new color. <laughs> <laughs> um. You know, we we might just be able to clear this off because it's getting it's getting a little wild in here. Okay. Yep. Uh, you can barely read that with it. So thick. There you go. Before you finish that, you should change it to red. <sighs> <laughs> and hugged by Frank. Chef Frank. Someday I'll meet Chef Frank. So, for the people who don't know... <laughs> Gordon is Gordon Ramsay, mm -hmm. and Frank is his favorite uh, level three chef from Epicurious. Yeah, just he's just so nice. I think I hope he's nice. I feel like that'd be one of those like meeting your hero things. If he's not nice, I'd be devastated. <sighs> yep. I could see that. Yep. Oh, can I put a goal on here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> if we have any more room. Yeah, give me a second. Hey, what do you want? All right, I want to host. A Dungeons and Dragons with the following. Uh, Matt from Demo Ranch. I always forget how to say his last name. Brennan Herrera. <laughs> oh, okay. Can you put Brennan Herrera after that so, uh. so the rest of the people know who I'm talking about? 
Uh, Gwen likes to rank all of my, uh, all the uh, gun tubers I watch. Um, Is that how you spell his last name? Uh, H-E-R-E-R-A? Oh gosh, I think so. I will fix it if it's wrong. Sorry, Brandon. Um, Brendan or Brandon? Brandon. <laughs> oh, I forgot. She only knows him as the hot one. The hot one. Uh, <laughs> so there's Matt, the hot one, and booty shorts. Yeah, and then James Reeves from uh, TFB TV. <laughs> oh, Matt's the only one who has like, an actual name. Oh, yeah, Matt, the hot one in booty shorts. <laughs> Reeves? Yeah. R E E V E S? Yep. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's, uh, uh, that is the, the, uh, the goal of Liberty Land is to one day have a Dungeons and Dragons episode with those three guys. Please, make it happen. That's, that's everything about Marty. That's everything about Marty. There's absolutely nothing else to ever know about Marty and you should never seek out information about Marty. Yeah, I'll, or else I'll freak out and tell you not to. <laughs> this is everything I'm willing to talk about. Yep. He's a murderer. Do I have any <laughs> questions, comments, or concerns? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I have so many, but. Oh wait, hold on. Put, uh, where's the, um, where's the thing at the end? Endangered thing. It's not on here. Oh. You're not an animal. You picked human. I did, okay. Ask him if you want to be a person, danger. place, or, <laughs> ask him if you want to do uh, his as a person, place, or thing, or an animal. And he said a person. Yep. So. I forgot about that. Yep. Also, I'm not endangered. I'm, well, maybe. Are you least concerned? Yeah. Thank you for joining us today on Stuff Lab. Bye. <laughs>